Hello students, in this video we are going to see about what is CMOS logic and why we go for CMOS logic. Added to that, uh, what are the construction parameters and operation of the CMOS logic. First, what is CMOS logic? The CMOS is expanded as complementary metal oxide semiconductor. This metal oxide semiconductor structure gives the complementary output of the given input. Usually the CMOS logic uh, consists of one N mass and uh, one P mass which is connected in series. Usually the N mass is uh, placed uh, bottom of the construction and uh, uh, that one P mass is placed top of the uh, CMOS uh, logic uh, diagram. This logic is used to get complement uh, of the input. It is used to uh, used for building re reliable and uh, power efficient digital logic circuits. Uh, some advantages are uh, mentioned here. Uh, there are um, temp temperature stability, stronger anti-noise ability and uh, lower power consumption. More conductive to large scale integration. And this is the symbol for uh, CMOS logic which is uh, we, we if we give a, a as input we can get the complement uh, um, logic of the given input which is uh, mentioned here as Y. So, if we give a 0, the uh, CMOS logic uh, will provide 1. If we give a 1 as input, CMOS logic will uh, provide a 0 as output. So, second one is why we go for CMOS logic. Uh, most probably CMOS is used as inverter because uh, the output uh, is, uh, is the complement of the given input in which more, both NMOS and PMOS transistors, transistors are used. Uh, the CMOS is, uh, um, is good enough to produce a strong logic 1 and strong uh, logic 0. Uh, the reason behind is NMOS is uh, only possible to produce a strong 0 and uh, PMOS is uh, uh, used to produce a, a strong or good logic 1. So if we get both uh, logic as uh, strong output swings, we go for uh, CMOS logic. Okay, to get full output swing for both logic 0 and logic 1, we go for CMOS logic. Some of the CMOS uh, applications are CMOS inverters, sensor and amplifier, battery and some logic gates are usually uh, used this, this CMOS logic uh, to get into the operation. So next one is constructions of CMOS inverter. We already know one NMOS and one PMOS connected in series which provides the CMOS uh, inverter uh, always uh, the PMOS is in top and connected to power supply BDD. The PMOS is uh, known as pull up network because the PMO, if uh, the PMOS is on on state, it will pull up the output. Okay, uh, we 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 know about uh, if we give a zero as input, the PMOS transistor on and the NMOS transistor off. Okay, so the PMOS transistor pull up the input uh, 0 logic to logic 1. Okay. So, next one is NMOS which is in bottom and connected to ground. Uh, NMOS is known as pull down network because if we give logic 1 as input, the PMOS transistor will off and NMOS transistor will on. Okay. So, this uh, NMOS transistor on uh, for input 1, it uh, pull down the logic 0 for that output. Okay, so the input is given to both MOS transistor gate terminal and the output is taken from the drain terminal of both NMOS and PMOS. Usually, uh, the both NMOS and PMOS are connected in series network. So, this is the operation of the CMOS inverter. Uh, if uh, we give uh, input uh, 0, the NMOS will off and uh, PMOS will on. As pull up network on, the, pull, the output pulled up to logic 1. The VDD is uh, um, connected to the output line. So, it gives logic 1. So, uh, this uh, strong logic 1 is get by the pull up network. Okay. Then, uh, operation of CMOS inverter if input is 1. If we give input as 1, it uh, off the pull, um, pull up network which is PMOS network. It will off on the uh, NMOS transistor which is pull down uh, transistor. So, we can get 0 as output because the NMOS is connected to uh, ground. Okay. Uh, if the transistor is on, it acts as a switch. So, if PMOS will on, it uh, the PMOS transistor acted act as a switch 
which uh, pass the VDD to output which the VDD is usually logic uh, 5 volt or 12 volt so it uh, connected to output so logic 1 will get. If the NMOS transistor will on the PMOS transistor obviously is off okay the then the top uh, transistor is open switch act as a open switch and then uh, down bottom network uh, NMOS transistor will act as a uh, uh, closed switch so uh, the closed switch nmos is connected to dr uh, dr ground uh, so the uh, given e logic one uh, voltage will be uh, pulled to the ground so we can get logic zero as output okay so these are the basic uh, uh, operation of the uh, tran uh, transistors uh, like a um, cmos in uh, logic so if we uh, give a uh, uh, input we can get the complementary side of that given input Okay, so we can uh, use this CMOS logic uh, for NOT gate, NAND gate and uh, uh, NOR gate. Usually this complementary side of the output uh, only we can get from this uh, CMOS logic. Okay, uh, uh, this in this CMOS logic one another important point is uh, always the NMOS, uh, the NMOS part uh, uh, did do the uh, basic operation of the function. Okay, uh, the pull up network do the uh, complementary uh, action of the uh, given function okay uh, so uh, some important points note down points are there to note down okay so you can note down uh, these important points uh, first one is nmos or pull down network which is connected to ground okay next pmos or pull up network which uh, which is connected to vdd this nmos uh, basic bottom uh, transistor nmos transistor done the basic operation while uh, PMOS uh, transistor done the complement operation okay for AND operation both NMOS transistor okay uh, because you, why I am uh, mentioned both NMOS transistor means for NAND operation usually we uh, use a two input okay so if we give a two input means we use two NMOS transistor and two PMOS transistor okay so both nmos transistor are pull down network transistor and both pmos transistors are pull up network transistor right so for and operation now one nmos transistor is uh, uh, given by a a input and then a b input is given to nmos transistor 2 okay so the both uh, nmos transistor will be uh, connected in series and in this series connection uh, gives the both input are high to produce logic zero or turn on pull down network okay uh, if any one of the input is low it will off any one of the nmos transistor and this will cut off the connection between ground to output okay in and operation both pmos will be in parallel okay in parallel connection any one output is high the pull pull up network is on and produce logic zero for our operation the in vice versa is applied nmos will be connected in parallel okay and pmos will be in series okay i repeat it again uh, for and operation both nmos will be in series and both pmos will be in parallel okay for or operation both nmos will be in parallel and both cmos will be in series so if we give uh, this kind of um, connections to uh, get the uh, complementary output of the and or 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 uh, inverter uh, applications okay um, um, apart from that uh, gate logic gates we can implement the uh, compound uh, gate logics also like uh, to prove the de Morgan's law or uh, to get the uh, other logics like a dot b plus c the whole bar or uh, a plus b dot c plus d the whole bar so we can get the complementary output of the given function okay uh, so finally this cmos transistor is uh, uh, used to get full output swing for both logic 1 and logic 0 this is the basic uh, advantage of the cmos okay uh, so usually the nand and nor gate are universal gate because of uh, fast switching speed because the uh, inverter switch uh, faster than the normal operation so we used this type of inverters for normal operation and using bubble pushing okay so this uh, cmos transistor are uh, uh, known for for the complement of the given input okay uh, so this uh, nmos and pmos operations uh, are um, known to get the detailed uh, uh, structure of the cmos
okay so if we go into the cmos logic before you have to study what is a mos transistor and what what are the operations are there in the mos transistor as transistors and how it will work for given uh, positive voltage and zero and negative voltage that's uh, that, then only we can get uh, logic zero and logic one operations okay so i hope uh, this class will uh, give the detailed structure about uh, what is cmos and why we go for cmos and construction and uh, operation of uh, cmos logic thank you